Hello, you son of family, Alaska team. So it's so it's so amazing to to just uh, so pump up that you wanna uh, yeah. live first ever live convention uh, ever. So I'm so excited that we're going to bring um, David as our presenter today to talk us about what he learned today uh, during USANA 2020 lives convention. And then if we all want to share a little bit what they learned, uh, that'll be great after David's uh, presentation. So now over you to you, David. All right, well, hello everybody. Thank you, Mila. Um, tonight's presentation, it's, I promise it's gonna be pretty short. Uh, and one of the topics that we wanted to discuss was going back to the beginning of why take supplements. So I'm gonna go into screen share. I gotta get my, and, and I don't have a lot of slides, so. Zoom, then I go to screen share. Okay, so I have just a second here. So why supplements? I guess the real question I have that for all of us is why take supplements? Yeah, so I'm going to go back to a couple of years ago before I met Gwen, and one of the things I was doing, uh, it was actually just uh, like a month or so, or, or within two weeks of having met Gwen, I was sitting in my kitchen, and I was revisiting a lot of the things that I had been doing over the last four or five or, or even ten years to better manage my health and my weight, and and I, you know, because I was I was floating around 235 to 240 pounds um, in 2017. One of my things was I think I'll do a uh, triathlon that will force me to train and exercise, and I'll get thinner um, and I'll be more healthy. Um, it helped me with the being more healthy, but I struggled and struggled and struggled yet to be. Um, to lose weight and to get, you know, to get fit. Um, so fast forward to 2018, um, I was, this is a little testament to my, uh, my lifestyle at the time. I was sitting in a bar having, um, having a beer and a uh, prime rib dinner. And I got an email, I was looking at my email and there was a thing on the Honolulu Marathon. So in May of 2005, I registered for the Honolulu Marathon with the same sort of thinking is that you know it'll force me to train it'll force me to do something different and i'll i'll lose weight i'll get i'll get healthier and i'll i'll lose weight well i did i did at the time i was running every day at lunch you know but i never really was losing weight and i know that when i got to my weekend long runs and stuff that um for one, I never looked forward to the weekend long runs because I knew that after the run, all I was gonna be able to do was lay on the couch and recover. Um, some of those recoveries included um, leg cramps in the quads and the thighs. And you know, if you've ever had both of your legs um, cramp up in the quads and the thighs and the calves, um, you've never experienced pain unless you've ever done that. Um, and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. So, and, and I was sitting in my living room thinking, what else can I do? You know, I had tried a couple of different diets and I had lost weight, but it was all temporary. And one of the things that came into my head is that, um, is that as, as when we were born, you know, our whole bodies regenerated themselves from two cells. And what's different, and that was kind of my thinking, is what's different from when we were born and in our mother's womb 
to now, why can't we be healthier and, and keep generating good, healthy um, cells? And this was just sort of my mindset. In fact, I opened up my kitchen cabinet and I had um, several different supplements. Some of them were, um, some of them were, you know, Walmart brand. Some of them were stuff that I had ordered off the internet. And, you know, I was, I was, I was open-minded to trying just about anything. And, um, but, but I wasn't sure what worked. So I was actually looking back at one of the diets that I had tried and it was really not so much a diet, but it was changing the eating style that I had. And then I met Gwen and we got talking about food and food and nutrition and, and, you know, when I look back at that conversation, I think that our, my own thought process had started to prepare me for what was about to come when I met Gwen. And we really hit it off on the topic of food and nutrition. And it took her a couple of months, but after um, we had been seeing each other for a little while, she did introduce me to USANA. And I thought some of the same things is, it's really expensive. I don't know if it'll do me any good, but you know, here I am two years later, I'm down almost 40 pounds. Um, I feel good. I can do some things. We went climbing yesterday. We went hiking the day before. Um, I've gone biking and crashed my bike. Um, I get up, I bounce back up and, you know, I'm a little sore where I may have, you know, I may have bruised or broken something, you know, like a finger, nothing major. Um, but I don't get the soreness and the sickness and all of that stuff. So, so what I've learned and what I'm learning through this process is that, that something's working. And, and what it is, um, I guess you have to make your own conclusions, but, but what is it that's working? So uh, the first thing I want to do is start out with sharing Dr. Myron Wentz's vision. And it's, I dream of a world free of disease. And the USANA family will be the healthiest family on earth. I want to share, share my vision, love life and live it to its fullest in happiness and in health. And that's Dr. Myron Wentz, who's the founder of USANA and the chairman emeritus um, as of this summer. Um, and it's just a really great vision. And it's something that sort of resonates. I've always been very active and interested in sports and health and being healthy. I just have never really had the way to share it. So tonight, again, why supplements? I'm gonna to go to the next slide, why supplements? So there's three reasons why we should take supplements. One of the reasons, the first reason is it's to protect ourselves. And, and, and the second one is to nourish and feed ourselves. Our body needs a lot of different things. We need to be protected, protected from what? Well, I'll get into that in the next slide. And to nourish, and nourish is really that most important thing. And we talk about nourish um, what helps a baby become a person is that it is nourished in the womb. Uh, and then renew. The renewal part is something that's, that's very new and, and something that we're learning a lot more about. Um, so what are we, what do we want to protect our bodies from, ourselves from? We're really looking at the effects of oxidative stress. Now, one of my favorite, my favorite dishes, whenever I've gone out to a Mexican restaurant, I always look for a dish that, that um, includes guacamole. I'm a little bit too cheap to order a side order of guacamole myself, but I love guacamole. And, and I even learned how to make guacamole. It wasn't always as good as what was in the restaurant. Um, and it's always really, really good the first day. And then the next day after you've had it in the refrigerator, you open up the refrigerator and it has this this dark color, you know, that oxidative, it's, you know what, the, the avocado has started to oxidize. It started to see the effects of oxygen and what it does to avocados. So oxidative stress is exactly that that's going on in our body. It's, it's, the, it's the stresses um, created by the oxygen-free radicals in our bodies. And oxygen is necessary for us to accomplish or to, well, one, to live, to breathe, and to transport, um, well, just to, just to live. It is something that we are required to live through air. But the negative side of it is the stress. 
toxins. There are, we're our, we live in a world surrounded by toxins. And, and over the years, one of the things I personally had done was to try to get rid of a lot of cleaners. That was a lot easier when I was a single man living all by myself. One, I could do two things. One, I could just not clean very often. And then two, I could look at, um, I could look at some alternatives. I did use like cleaning vinegar. I used uh, hydrogen peroxide and uh, um, some other th combinations of, of, uh, of, of fairly um, non-harmful, non-toxic chemicals for cleaning. But if you open up the uh, cabinet under the counters of most houses in America, you see all of the cleaning products and all of the stuff that's in them. If you've ever read a bottle of ingredients of what's in cleaning products, but we, we, uh, we are exposed to toxins in our cleaning products, our toothpaste, our, the air that we breathe, and we're just surrounded by it. So what are we protecting ourselves from? And the other thing is stress. Stress is a big contributor of, of, uh, <coughs> of, um, in, of, uh, of complications to our lives. It just, it, it sets us off and it gives us problems and also creates more of that, that oxidative stress. Um, so, <clears throat> so protect from what? There are just literally thousands of things in our environment that, uh, me, in our environment that we're exposed to on a daily basis that create um, that can damage our bodies. And what do we need to do about it? How do we take care of all of that stuff? <clears throat> so nourish. The other part of it is why do we want to nourish? We want to nourish our bodies to achieve optimal levels of vitamins and minerals in our bodies. Our, each of our cells, or each individual cell in our body has a specific function. And uh, I look back to my fifth grade, you know, my fifth grade science class, and we were, we were learning about cells, and we thought that the cell was the smallest living, or is the smallest living creature, is a single cell creature. Like I remember looking at um, the amoeba, and uh, I remember as a kid, I was able to go to uh, where my father worked at the at the water treatment plant. And we could sample the water and look at water under the microscope and just see all of the stuff, the bacteria, the cells. And, and actually the goal was to find those little single cell, um, single cell um, creatures that lived in the water. Um, but, it, but what's really true about the cell is it may be the smallest living part of our body, but within the cell itself, there is so much going on. There's, there's so much that, that each cell does within the body to create, to create and sustain life. So, so it's all about optimal levels of nutrition to sustain cell, cell function and cell growth. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm sort of more to the end here. I don't have a lot of slides. I want to go back. Okay. So, so why 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 is it important to supplement? One of the one of the things that there was a study done in 2002 by Dr. Robert Fletcher and Kathleen Fields, Harvard. They are researchers from the Harvard Medical School. And one of the things that they published in the uh, June 19, 2002 Journal of American Medical Associations is that the North American diet, while sufficient to prevent acute vitamin deficiency diseases, diseases such as scurvy and pellagra, it is sufficient to prevent those sorts of diseases, but it's inadequate to our long-term health. And what things are there that are, are part of our long-term health? Well, long-term health is comprised of those, um, 
<clears throat> the diseases that that well insufficient vitamin intake apparent they said apparently is the cause of many chronic diseases including cardiovascular disease cancer osteoporosis and diabetes and a large very large portion of our population is at an increased risk um, <clears throat> Dr. Rob Sennett, in his presentation, a couple of, uh, in, um, in July of this year, talked a lot about the, uh, the uh, insufficiency of vitamins and the vitamin deficiencies in our bodies. Um, it was found that um, in the NHANES data that over, that approximately 90% of men in the United States or in the Western world are eating off a Western diet are deficient in vitamin D. And it was like 93 or 94% of the women. Vitamin E was again another, uh, another, um, another vitamin that uh, um, we were severely deficient in. And vitamin E is, uh, is a critical vitamin in the uh, in in helping to enhance or maintain the immune system so why supplement supplementation is designed and intended to improve our lifestyle and help us maintain and and create a healthier long-term future for our lives so I guess my question is why supplements and I think the better question that we may be asking that we should be asking is why not supplements why shouldn't we be taking supplements if we learn through <clears throat> if we can learn continue to learn what there is available um, out there about what's lacking in our diets and what's lacking in our, our food sources and, and, and the effects of the environment on our body. Um, supplements may be that, that magic that fills the gap that our diet cannot fully, um, that our diet does not fully fulfill the need to. So, there is my presentation, short, sweet, to the point. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Why supplement? That's uh, really, um, this is definitely the first question you, you really want to ask before the whole USANA journey starts, because you don't, have a reason why is that is then it's hard to find the value and the purpose to continue with the the why taking you sana supplements why doing you sana business which is all start with the baby step one why supplements so i learned so much david tonight for that you go over with many different factor of uh, why we need supplements uh, so good job. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of time listening to the, you know, there's so much really good information out there too. Um, Dr. Lad McNamara, Dr. Rob Sinnott, when you um, can, when you can Google them on, uh, or on YouTube or search for them on YouTube, there's so much information. It's hard to, you know, it's hard for a novice like me. I mean, why should anybody really listen to me? Um, with my limited and lack of experience other than, you know, the results that I've gotten. But uh, there's so much information out there that, that just tells us why and where and, and, and what supplements can do for them. Um, and one of the things I really like about Dr. McNamara is that at times he just presents about the general case of why supplementation. And then he also does, because he is an Asana, he's a very successful Asana associate, he also weaves into it 
why it's important to take a quality supplement like USANA and why USANA is the best available um, supplement out there. Um, and, and personally for myself, uh, the results have been way different than, than any of the other supplements I've ever taken. I've taken supplements that were, I've, I've taken the Amway supplements, the double X and the glucosamine and the, the COQ10 product. Um, I've taken the, um, yeah, I've taken the Walmart brand and I, I pretty much know what I was getting with the Walmart brand. I was, I was pretty much throwing away a $9 bottle of whatever it was I was buying of whatever uh, supplement that I was taking. Um, and, and yet I was trying to do something. I, but I did try some different things over the internet that had um, some different effects. Um, but, you know, nothing that was nearly as sustained as, as what I've experienced through, through our USANA product. Right. And then you, you made a really great point about that. Uh, finding, uh, finding the 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 why or why you're taking your uh, your supplement is uh, one of my favorite uh, speaker Kendra Hall, which uh, uh, she she said that people don't remember like what you said, but remember how you make them feel. So if they feel with the products, the product sell itself, you don't really have to do a whole lot of work uh, by by just uh, just bring on the uh, just bring on the information to them basically that's that's what it is to let them know there's a such a great company and such a great products out there me can maybe can change their whole life so yeah i really like that <laughs> awesome so now would you mind to me to turn into for uh, i guess you can go ahead start as like a we can do the uh, for the for feedback on the convention this virtual convention this last weekend yes. but you know personally it, it wasn't it wasn't like being there I mean there's such a different thing about being there there's the energy the people the feel the everything about being there at the at the convention um, but it was so well done. I mean, everything was, was well done and, and so well presented. My, my favorite part of the, of the uh, well, my two favorite things were um, Kevin Guest and his inventory on um, values and, and leadership. And then also the stories from Kendra Hall. And um, I did start over the weekend working on, you know, the stories and break it down into the three different stories. The, the the product story the uh, the product story the opportunity story and and the why story um, and i haven't got very far on those but it just really makes a lot of sense i tried to weave some of the product story into the beginning of this presentation um, because actually what she said is start every presentation with a story and 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 share what you know, share the results of that story and how it makes you feel. Um, and, and it was interesting because I remember she talked about the bike story. And, and she said that, that as, as you begin to tell a story, um, the listeners get involved in the story and they start creating their own story or feeling something similar about that story. And and as she was talking about learning to ride a bike, it's like, oh yeah, I remember how I learned how to ride a bike. And yeah, it was much different than that, but it was, um, but again, you know, it's like, okay, it took me back, you know, uh, how old was I, five years old? So that's like 50, 50 years ago, uh, learning how to ride a bike um, by, by hanging on to a tree branch and going around and around and around and around a tree in the front yard of our, in the front yard of my house. Uh, you know, my dad was at work, my sister was gone, my, my mom didn't know how to ride a bike. So, you know, if I was gonna learn how to ride a bike, it was up to me. Um, so well, that's what I liked. I really liked the story part. And, and I liked in the VIP part of it is the next day she talked about how to begin to craft a story, where to start. Um, 
And I think that any time I've ever sat down to write a story or, you know, for like, even for this, um, for Toastmasters or something like that, I look at this blank sheet of paper and, you know, I'm supposed to fill the paper. But it seems like what happens when I have all these great ideas and I look at a blank sheet of paper, it's like the blank sheet of paper erases my mind. Um, so so her, her pointers on how to start writing a story was something I thought was, was really and extremely helpful. Yeah, I really yeah. like that. And I, I really like the, you, you have post uh, your story in Kendra Hall, that presentation in the Yusan live chat. And uh -huh. I feel like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually found you. I said, whoa, David Monkey. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, just kind of took me back there. So that was kind of cool. But, so how about, you know, okay, who's next? Who wants to share from the convention? I like I like the uh, refer a friend and the uh, what I felt like was turning PCs into associates without actually paying them uh, with the uh, uh, earning credit against uh, against products so people don't have to sell they just can uh, tell other people instead right which is what which is the same thing that we're doing and uh, and then. Uh, uh, earn credit against their products. So, what's the first goal of of being an associate? Is that's trying to find a way to get your uh, some your, somebody else to pay for your product. Uh, <laughs> so, I you know I, I I saw that and I said hmm, this is an interesting idea. It it looks like it it, it might work for all those people that say oh, I don't want to sell anything. I just, you know, uh, so I thought. That was that was a good step forward, um, and it, it should give us, uh, you know, more flexibility um, in terms of you know, recruiting additional uh, folks and introducing them to the products. And then, as they get uh, to familiar and and see the the benefit in themselves, they start telling people, and then they can earn additional uh, credit without actually becoming an associate. So that was that was excellent. I was personally disappointed in the lack of science. Uh, there was no discussion of the products at all. Uh, just here they are, you know, so try them. You know, there's no, there was no background. There was no uh, scientific uh, uh, analysis that scientists did not speak. And um, and that's one of the things that I really like about going to a convention is actually meeting with the scientists and talking about and hearing their presentations on the makeup of the products and how they work and how they were designed to work so that you could get the uh, the benefit of uh, uh, the R&D component because that's what sets USANA apart, quite frankly, is that the amount of their research and development that goes into it. They're not buying somebody else's crap. Uh, and and then just repackaging it. Um, the other thing that I felt was uh, disappointing was the packaging that they decided to put on the new products. Um, I thought, boy, they sure look like just anything else on the storefront, you know, on 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 the on the shelves at Walmart. Okay, they look exactly like you walk into CVS and you see everything else that's there. They look exactly like them. Um, so the, going from the packaging that we have right now uh, to the new packaging, um, I think is a is a down step because it doesn't highlight the fact that USANA is a science-based company, that it's built upon real science and it's real, built upon real R&D into the nutritional products. Um, so I think it, I think it, you know, going from the sophisticated look that we have now to the commercial look that they showed us, um, I think is a real step down. Um, and then, uh, the other, the other parts, uh, were, it just seemed like there just wasn't an, enough, you know, cause one of the things about going to convention is, is that you're, of course you're meeting with people and you're talking and you're, you're all the crowds and you're going from one place to another and, and so forth. But, um, there wasn't very much, 
uh, pro uh, presentations. There's what six, you know, maybe maybe twelve uh, presentations and so forth. And we would try to do twelve presentations in a day. You know, you know, trying to get from one place to another and and, you know, and then you had to choose between watching this one or watching that one. Uh, the great news is, is that uh, I didn't have to stay up in the middle of the night. I didn't have to watch this at three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. Um, and uh, we could just uh, uh, go in and watch it in the taped version and um, and uh, and get the information. Um I know I spent a whole lot less money uh, watching it virtually than uh, than making all the arrangements to get everybody into uh, Salt Lake City and hotels and uh, the frustrations of uh, logistics and then trying to do all the things that you do and uh, and certainly um, unlike y'all I, I I can't buy any products because I can't get them delivered so. Uh, <laughs> I'm spending a whole lot less money on product, but I would have liked to try some of the new uh, uh, the new, new things. Um, still no shaving cream. Okay, there's still no Usana shaving cream. Okay, uh, and uh, I don't know how many times uh, we need to remind the, the, them that it's not the skin lightening that matters; it's the shaving cream that matters. <laughs> <laughs> so, I I know a lot of people are looking forward to the uh, to the skin lightener and getting it, uh, um, you know, trying it out and seeing how it works. And I know that the results that they've gotten uh, from the foreign from the Singapore opening uh, and the Asian Pacific opening of that product it turned out very nicely, and uh, everybody's very very excited about it. Um, and uh, so I don't know what. Uh, what the impact there. Once again, uh, USANA is failing to market Cell Aviv to men. Um, and uh, I think that that's a huge mistake. They're missing out on 50% uh, of, uh, of the market out there. And uh, I think uh, by uh, positioning and, and so forth on, uh, on the Cell Aviv, it, uh, it's, it's an amazing product and it works just as well for men as it does for women and uh i think uh, that's the uh, that's the point i'm i'm always excited i like you david and 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 was is that i enjoyed uh, uh guests uh, presentation uh on on leadership that was uh that was good maybe you know it's good thought provoking uh unlike mila i i, I don't enjoy kendra hall um it's just very very hard for me to listen to her <laughs> Um, and then to have two presentations by her uh, was just kind of like, oh, God, not again. Um, but uh, going, going that path uh, uh, down the line, those are, those are my takeaways uh, on it. Um, uh, it was interesting to see that the Carmel is, uh, Nutrameal is back. Did everybody notice that? Um, you know, they, for, it's a short term kind of thing, um, and uh, it's it, it'll it'll be interesting to see how they develop it. They did not talk about the new bars, right? Here they are. They show us the food um, uh, factory, right? They give us that big teaser on the food factory, and they talk about the the, the bars, and then they don't show them, right? Um, so I guess they weren't ready to uh, to discuss the new uh, USANA bars. The, it was hint at the new probiotic, but they didn't roll it out. Um, Can you mute the noises? It's not my background. It's someplace else. Yeah, the host can mute it. Okay, good, thank you. Yeah, so, uh, you know, if, feeding back on uh, on those types types of things uh, coming back in to where where it, uh, where it was it you know from the 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 logistics of watching I don't know how hard it was for you guys to watch but uh, going between each um, each segment and thing I had to roll back out to 
the uh, the page and then come all the way back in and then wait for it to load uh, to to go in uh, to the next video instead of rolling. OK, we did this one. Now we're going to do this one and we do this one or at least having a way to choose on the side, you know, to go to the next one. So instead of having to come all the way back out and come all the way back in, I don't know. It was very, very difficult to uh, uh, initially sign in and then to get um, to the next video because you always had to come back out and come back in and come back out and come back in. Um, so maybe from a logistics standpoint, next time they do this, it'd be, it, it'll be good or, or, or better. Um, I don't know how many people or other people are doing this, but uh, filming or, or taping the presentations. I know as VIPs, uh, we're going to have a, uh, an additional 30 days to uh, continue to view this. I think that uh, some of these presentations are worth saving. I do not know how USANA is thinking about what they're going to do with them or whether or not they're going to end up on YouTube. I'm sure other people are thinking the same thing. It's just, all right, take the big screen, take a video, pump it up on a, on a YouTube, and it's going to be available uh, long term. Um, and uh, I think that's, uh, um, you know, a thought that we might choose to do too, so that we have access to those presentations uh, longer than 30 days. So we can reuse them, you know, when we're talking to uh, uh, prospects or in our own edification, uh, that would that would be good. Yeah, David, I have something to uh, to, to comment on what, what you just said uh, overall. Uh, I think for the, for the video that they're going to, for the Usana Live Convention, I don't think they're prob probably going to post on YouTube. They do, that'd be great, but kind of copyright, right? It's uh, probably on your uh, viable for for all the associate. But I, I really want to make some comment on what, what's, what, what have you said that, because during one of the, um, the, the presentation is called Associate Outbounds, and there are four types of people and personality. So there are adventurous people, supportive people, and, and dri driven people, and anesthetical and anesthetic people. So I feel like you're the, you're the last one. <laughs> Anything that you are oh, present, you, you do have something, are having the, the pro and con sides. But for for the the one part you say about uh, they didn't do the good job on the marketing men's schemes, I think if you kind of learn about the products, then you should able can able to merge in some products that can use for men because all the products is for men and women. For example, that during the the Jennifer Lee presentation, uh, uh, actually Dr. Jeff Jennifer Lee. And she talked about the, um, the four different new lightning products uh, for the Lumos moisture cream. I think that product maybe is good to you can you can apply it to your skin and then use it to uh, to to do as a shaving cream. Maybe that will help for <laughs> for uh, the good, other good, men. Good, good shaving cream. Yeah. No, that would not. <laughs> no. No. Not a good shaving cream. That that would be too expensive for a shaving cream. <laughs> that would be really expensive shaving cream. But you know the 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 the, the foaming cleanser um, generally uh, is 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 good. Uh, but you know th at the same time, I think uh, Usana could uh, could really benefit from a uh, a healthy and and good shaving cream. cream. They could because women would like to use that too. Imagine what it would do for our legs. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, be nice. Well, everybody is expensive, so Yusana is deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Well, that's clear. That's that's clearly one of the important things that uh, you know we have uh, the chat um, you know take into a in, into account is the value proposition of the Usana products. And one of the things that I always like to use is my own personal experience in regards to the fact that I've tried almost every product out there. I would go and fill boxes up and I would, you know, this was back before uh, I was introduced to USANA. I knew 
that there was something I needed to be adding to my body and to make me feel better. I was suffering terribly from uh, uh, chronic diseases. I thought I was going to die. And uh, I can get more into that in another story. But the fact of the matter is, is I had boxes and boxes and boxes. And I was taking things every day, probably around 40 pills every day, just to make sure that I was trying to cover and I was trying to do my own analysis of how these things interact. And, um, and yet, I never felt any better. I never felt any better. I only hoped I was better, but I never felt any better. So I was doing Shackley, I was doing Herbalife, I was doing CVS, I was going to Walmart, I was going to, you know, you know, I, I was, you know, and, and to uh, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, the, the health store there and trying to find the right combinations. And uh, it didn't, you know, I never, never got that way until I was introduced to USAMA. And then uh, when I was introduced to USAMA, I said, why not? You know, when uh, Michelle says, here, you know, look at the book. It's the number one product. I says, all right, number one product. I just go get it. Right. So I just go get it and I bought it and I used it. And, you know, it wasn't that long after I actually took that first health pack. Okay. That I started feeling better. And then I realized that I didn't need to take my Prilosec anymore. I didn't take the next, uh, 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 high blood pressure medicine. I didn't need to take a digestive medicine. I didn't need to take a sleep medicine. I didn't have to take a wake up medicine. I didn't have to take, you know, all these other medicines that I was on started to drop away. And I started feeling a whole lot better and I started getting uh, more active. Not because I set out to do anything more active. I was just had the energy to be more active. So I was more active. The more active I got, the more weight came off. And I started feeling even better. And then when my eyesight started getting better, I said, there's something special here. There is something really special here. So eight months of being a PC, you could not take my USANA away from me. I was off every medication. I was down 40 pounds. I was more active, more energetic, and so forth. And I says, there's no reason not to. And then when I realized that my daily consumption of USANA product uh, could be paid for by my tax write-off for being in business uh, for myself, I said, oh, shit. Why not? I mean, this is a no brainer. <laughs> so, um, you know, when you figure the, uh, the tax benefits of being a home-based business and the cost of your product in my tax bracket, I was making money by being an associate and still having all of my use on a product. Well, David, you know why you don't like Kendrick Hall? <laughs> I know why. <laughs> Because you're such a great a storyteller already. <laughs> I agree. I really enjoyed <laughs> what you just said with all the story. That's amazing. If I were a, a new prospect, a prospect, I would definitely want to get some products too. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll tell you what. There's an awful lot of people over here in Jordan right now are really disappointed, um, you know, because the... the uh, uh, not being able to get the products that they want because they know and they see the requirement. I mean, the doctors and the lawyers and so forth that I'm eating. So they, they, they want these products. They need these products. I mean, I was talking with a doctor here who's well concerned about his mother-in-law. Uh, she has macular degeneration. She, he wants to get her on the vision X product. Oh, and he also and he also has a son who has been diagnosed as ADD and he wants to get him on the health pack and the uh, mood uh, product in order to help with um, uh, the ADD and to, uh, to, to run that line. And we do know that just taking a health pack fixes uh, the manic depressive behavior. How many people know that? I mean, it's just, you, you see it uh, all the time. And you know people with manic depressive behaviors, uh, conditions. Uh, everybody does because there's like 
80% of the population of the United States has got manic depressive behaviors. Some of them are worse, some are the less, but there's, there's a lot of people with it. And just taking the health pack moderates the hormones, moderates the, uh, uh, the nutrients in the brain as well as the nervous system. And instead of doing this, okay, they're doing this. Yep. Go get it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. All right. Tecla, do you have something to share with us? What you learned during the live convention? Well, I just have a question. If anybody else had this issue, when I'd watch something on one of their programs, it would fluctuate in that little screen. It was vibrating like crazy. I couldn't focus on anything. I'd have to scroll up so I'd get this little itty bitty synopsis of what the actual big picture was because the screen was just moving to the music. And it was just, mm -hmm. I mean, literally with my eye problems already, I could not focus. I ended up with the worst headache and it was just like a nightmare to me. So mm. I couldn't see the little picture very well. So I just basically put my recorder on and walked away. And I will listen to it later. But to see things, it was, it was not good. Yeah. So I don't know, well, I don't I know think... if it was my computer and I don't know if it was and there was so much um, hesitation, you know, the computer doing the thinking thing. I mean, I don't think that my computer was fast enough to get in with everybody else, and I'm pretty sure I have that problem. So it was, um, it was very frustrating. Um, I'm, I liked um, the, relax, the new relaxation product. I'd like to try it try that. And of course, the, the luminizer, I've been the skin brightening one, of course, I've been waiting for that one to come out, because that would be really cool. But for me, it was it was not a good experience. And I haven't, haven't really uh, done much to listen to it. Are you taking yeah, it? Oh, sorry, go ahead, David. Oh, I was just uh, you were you were actually watching on the uh, what that uh, on your laptop? Yeah. Are you okay? So you you uh, your TV couldn't pick it up on a you you don't have a smart TV then? I don't have a TV. Period, David. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, going from the, the the small box and trying to find the enhancer or the enlarger, and then it goes down theater mode. And you go down a theater mode, and it just makes it a little bit bigger. And then you have to figure out where the next piece is that would give you the full screen uh, presentation. But if your internet is uh, was was having problems, and that's what it sounds like. It sounds like there just was too much buffering uh, oh, on your yeah. Maybe no. you can update your computer. Well, this computer can consider the business cost. <laughs> so someday I will update my computer, yes. It's, uh, it's tax deductible, this computer. It might be tax deductible, but you don't get enough from your tax deductible to buy a computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a hundred percent. That's for darn sure. You only get a micro amount of, of the amount that you'd have to pay in the tax deduction. Exactly. But. And in fact, after um, my my income versus my tax deduction, I saved more on my income by using my mm. income than how much I all the trouble I went through with running a business. That was like really. <laughs> but anyway mm -hmm. and from the convention we see to set up a goal you can set up set up a goal to have a free computer <laughs> nothing is free John 
But it is such a good thought. <laughs> when you set up a goal, yeah. you can achieve it. If it's not if it's not worth the work to get it, then it's not worth it. But you know, it would have been it would have been nice. Yeah, I'm saying just like a play a game. You mm -hmm. you set up a goal and then you achieve it. It's a it's a different mm -hmm. feeling. Yep, it is. When yeah. you work, when you work for it, yep, it sure is. It's like go fishing. <laughs> you get up early, and you <laughs> buy everything. You be there the whole day, thing. but you only catch a little fish. But the <laughs> whole procedure. You enjoy this to catch the fish. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. But okay. not everybody enjoy to catch the fish. Is it bedtime it's the yeah. earlier, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really great. I had a great conversation with the dentist uh, yesterday, and we were talking about his laser. And uh, he says, yeah, we got this laser. It was 85,000. It was so much, so expensive. It was 85,000 JD, which is about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars and uh he says yeah but what i did was i really wanted it and i wanted it for my patients because it's so much less painful than cutting into their gums and so forth and he uses laser so he he says you know all i i did was i set a goal that said 160 jd per day um and then i would just set it aside and then at the end of the month i'd have the 10,000 jd that i needed to make the payment on the uh, on the laser and in uh you know uh, in a year he owned the laser and uh you know and now it, it he 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 says, you know, it takes me longer to use the laser than it would a knife, but my patients don't have 72 hours of recovery afterwards. They don't have, feel anything at all when I use it. So, um, wow, you know, I do it for my patients. So the, 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 the issue was he's, he's, he set a goal that said, you know, I needed to buy this laser for my patients. I needed you know, he broke it down into what it would cost per day, and he just uh, said he set aside that amount every day uh, from his uh, from his income, and he he was able to afford the laser. Um, and there are only three of those in in Jordan, so he's uh, he's he's very proud of his little laser um, uh, very tool. Passionate. What a nice yeah. what a nice thought. Considering yeah. considering the knife that I've been under for the last three months. <laughs> Yeah. So the idea is just is 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 you you set aside a goal and you do it incrementally. Say, okay, what's it going to take, and then divide it by the number of uh, of days that will take to do it, and then you just set it aside from uh, yeah. from your work or your in, in, in what what you're doing. Okay. Well, John, do you have something to share with us? Oh yeah, it's really. Uh totally different experience with went to Salt Lake City every year. Start 2009 is the first year I was in Salt Lake City. I was touched by so many people there and the, the relationship built with the teams. When I was first in Salt Lake City, um, uh, I believe I'm a director or not. I'm not sure. So the second year, my whole family drive all the way down to Salt Lake City. Wow. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the second year, because I, I have a little boy, he was six months old that year, and her mom don't want to take the baby on the flight. And we drove down with the little boy in the car, and we cannot drive too much every day. Then we just uh, drive eight hours or six hours, I believe. 
Then we used three days to drive there. We carry the little boy every day to everywhere to the convention. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, we drove drive three days back to Vancouver. The every year I was in since then two thousand since year two thousand nine, every year. I was in Salt Lake City. I was so enjoy the time I can meet everybody there. It's really a great party. I met Lily, Mila, David, Matteo, David, Peter. <laughs> in Salt Lake City. And it's really a memorable time. It's really value become part of my life. I enjoy the time there. Maybe Mila would say I'm an influence people. I don't know. So but this year I have to stay at home to watch the convention on the TV. Well, this is a totally different experience. I hope we can, I can meet everybody in Salt Lake City in the future again. And this convention, I stay at home, watch the TV. It's still we let me still can understand the USANA difference, which I have been noticed before. The convention is really different with other companies' convention, talk about the sales, talk about the achievement. Just like Kevin Gass, he talk about Take care of yourself to become more healthy, to become a good people, honest people. And the sales team, they share the information. They have some promotions, uh, double matching bonus. They try to do something for us. This is a different feeling of to cooperate with the company. It's a, a great company to work with. The value of the company is to help to, to do the things have a right reason. And I notice another thing the trainers section, the workshop sections. And this year, the trainers, they are not star levels. They're not star uh, diamond. They, no, 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 they are not that. And the topic is really very basic. Mm. And it's a simple. Just like you, you set a goal, you, you have a one hour or 30 minutes every day, you keep on doing this for six years, you will see the difference. The very simple and achievable, and everybody can do this. It's really designed for everyone to succeed. And I was, so I still stay at home. I enjoy this. And it's good. I still enjoy to meet everybody online. <laughs> There's always difference with, we have this conversation, conversation after convention. We, I still remember Mila, David, Montiel, 
David Peter, we we stay in the ho hotel lobby to chat when we was in Salt Lake City last year. And we chat, 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 chat. It's, I, think, I believe it's almost 1, 1 a.m., right? We chat whole night almost. <laughs> That's a wonderful time. I always remember it's uh, I love this relationship. I love the, to meet everybody, and I enjoy the time to spend with you. Thank you very much. And I also remember Lily, right? When we chat, you all you almost fall asleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> we told you, take the product. You will feel the difference. I believe that night we also chat 1 a.m. or 2, 2 a.m. Right, Mila? You were there too, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, Lily, your, your speaker is now open. Do you want to open your speaker before you talk? Yeah, open your speaker before. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's good? Okay. Yes. Yes. So, Lily, can you share? Yeah, thank you for yep. Why don't you sharing. share about, about your, your, your experiment with convention? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's a beautiful memory. <laughs> it's a, a lot of fun. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you still fall asleep? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I just like sleep all the time. <laughs> That's my hobby. <laughs> Another influence, influence person, right? <laughs> Yeah, I try to do better, not, not so too much. Yeah. So you have the chance to attend the convention online this past two days? Oh, two days later is convention? Oh, you no, don't no, know the, that? Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, convention just, just occurred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I enjoy with Anna together. So yeah, we we were all watching together. Me, Anna, you convention Yeah, we do it together. Okay, you you have a general pass or VIP pass? Yeah, we we find the idea already. Uh, yeah. Yeah. General pass. You have a seven days, huh? Yeah, if you, if, yeah, it, yeah. The, the standard pass is seven days, the uh, VIP pass is 30 days. So Lily, you don't have much time to do this if you're going to do it on a standard pass. Also, you're going to miss a lot if you don't do the VIP and the VIP is only $20. So um, if you register with the VIP pass, uh, everything is a donation to the USANA Foundation, but you get access to the material for 30 days. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I, I will see because I, hmm. I, I think I can come here. Yeah, I, I find that uh, idea already, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's good. We to had know. some. Yeah. So we've had some uh, some new pay setters join uh, the global health team here this last couple of weeks. Uh, this last week, actually. Um, Gwen, you want to tell us a little bit about who our, our new uh, uh, pay setters in the downline are? Actually, that's uh, <laughs> the pay setter one is uh, is uh, Hu Hu Xiaoju, uh, her another name is Coco, and her line is uh, Lanjiao. Lanjiao lives in uh, Georgia. Uh, All right. Lanjiao did pretty good. She found her herself a customer. Don't need here. <laughs> she found her own preferred customer. Then we did help her a little bit. Then she did a pretty good job, that, that lady, very independent. She finished yeah, herself. The job that lady finished herself with the pit setter. Then because mm. she finished, then I I request I have her, her upline, uh, Hu Xiaoju. 
tell her, while well, you're down one hand to one <laughs> pay center already, you have to, to be finished to pay the center, you, otherwise you lose money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> her, yeah, as a matter of fact, it's a big deal. Yeah, two weeks if you finish. Well, we, we, yeah. we people help. Yeah, and I help a lot. <laughs> we help, help each other. But it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Sunny, now Sunny, help a lot. Using the new All right. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, now I I'm not going to be in a position to give another presentation for some time, so I will let you know. Uh, you know what's the, what's the next one? I am doing research into the hormonal impacts of uh, USANA nutrition, specifically the, uh, the health pack um, and, uh, you know, select optimizers. Uh, with the addition of the mood uh, program, I'll, I'll, I'll build that in, but right at the moment, it's a massive undertaking to try to relate the nutritional benefits of the of the health pack and other things into the various different types of hormones uh, that are available in the, that we have in our bodies. Um, so uh, I, it, it will be a, a little bit of time uh, to put that together. Um, plus the fact that, you know, I've got still waiting to hear, we've had some uh, increases in the cases of, uh, of COVID, nothing like the United States, but, um, you know, we had an uptick of, of about 30 or 40 uh, in one week, and the, uh, and the king has shut down the airport again. So uh, we'll see how long that's going to uh, uh, keep me from traveling. So, David, do you want to do it next week, or you want to do it? Uh... No, no. I, I can't, uh, Mila. I'm not going to be prepared. Uh, the, the amount of information is just overwhelming, uh, and to try to get it into uh, uh, a concise uh, presentation is going to be much harder than that. Uh, and then trying to find a way that's going to be. Uh, uh, to, to show the relationships, which 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 works with with what and uh, and how the, the the effects are, uh, even uh, even the ask the sci uh, even the scientists they're they're uh, they've not addressed this issue uh, specifically in terms of hormonal re uh, relationships. We know that there's got to be right. That's and, okay. and even just That's recently okay. with the mood enhancing uh, and stress uh, relief uh, uh, products, they're sort of addressing it, but they're, it's, it's not quite a, a direct relationship. And uh, I'm going to try to show a direct relationship. Uh, David, can you mute uh, videos and as a Real quick. Okay, there we go. So, okay, so David, so you were saying that probably not in a while. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be in a position to do that. Um, and and other issues are going to fill my uh, fill my time. I mean, I th the last the last presentation probably took 50 hours to 60 hours to put together, uh, and uh, I, I don't know. I, it's on YouTube now, thanks to, to Mila and uh, we, we, uh, the uh, uh, bone growth. So if you haven't gone back to uh, Health Eagle Space team on YouTube, uh, then do so because uh, the, uh, the bone growth one was, uh, was shot a couple of times, right, Mila? <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, to, uh, um, and uh, so that one's on, on YouTube. David, I forgot to tell you that I, I wanted to re-listen again, so I have both recorded. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I guess, um, so Green, Green, do you have anything to share with us before we wrap it up? Oh, but you uh, said uh, the convention? Yes. Um, 
uh, uh, Kevin, not Kevin Guy, the, the singer, what, what, what his name? Keith Urban. Urban? Urban. Oh, uh, Keith Urban. Keith Urban uh, tell us when he was 16 years old, he started to sing in a, in a, in a bar. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He said that he, he wanted, he, he tried to, to draw people, concentrate him, but people all talk about whatever they want. They don't, they ignore him. But uh, even like this, he never quit. He continued, continued work on music. And finally, he's a musician. Uh, he sing very well, uh, so popular, so many people like him. That means, I really like that part that uh, we choose what you want, we want to do. You never quit. You just continue, work hard, work, work, work. Finally, you will be there. You, you will be where you want. This one. The other one, the lady, what is her name? <laughs> Kendra Hall. Kendra Hall, oh, I, I had trouble to remember her name. Yeah, that lady said, I want to ride a bicycle. You learn to ride a bicycle. While well, your parents or your, your, your brother, your sister help you, help you make, make, make your bicycle balance. Then they say, oh, I will keep this, I will keep this. Actually, they, they quit already. They, they leave you alone, either, but you don't know. You just ride, ride, ride. Finally, you find a balance. You, you learn how to ride a bicycle. Things like we, do, we are doing the same thing. At the beginning, we have a top leader group. Um, I, I had a top leader help. Then right now, I still have. Then sometimes I have to to learn by myself, find my own way to write how, how can I do well, can reach my one step, one step, reach my goal. <coughs> I, I, I like some story they tell. <coughs> our, our company culture really good. Yeah, they don't, uh, no, nobody talk about how much money we make or who make. <coughs> how we talk about our science, how much we develop, how, how much new, uh, product that we find new. Oh, um, uh, in New Zealand culture, we more concentrate family, family relationship, love, uh, help people. I think uh, I like this uh, all of them. That's all. I mean, that's such a great, uh, I really have a lot to touch on that one. So I, your two favorite uh, speaker is also my two favorite speaker, which is uh, Keith Arben. He's my favorite country singer all time. <laughs> I listen to his song, the, the uh, blue color in, in uh, something. Blue color is something about you. <laughs> I, re I really like that song. And I like how he always keep being persistent. He's just from the uh, middle of um, a, a little town, middle of nowhere. And then, he just went to uh, Tennessee, Nashville, and he fell and fell and fell. Nobody wanted to listen to his music, but he just keep going. <laughs> and now he become a the high, at the top Grammy Award for American country music. So such a legend that we all should learn from. I really like uh, Kendra Hall as well. Uh, there's so many uh, good treat uh, treats that she she has helped tell us about even David doesn't like it but because I guess I'm still a not great um, storyteller sometimes sometimes like I think one thing I, I really touch on a lot is that, that sometimes it's hard to get people attention like like the quote she she said that people don't remember what you said but remember how you make them feel and sometimes what especially you're in a crowd and then you're trying to to share something uh what you got got to share to the crowd but not everybody want to listen to what you says um uh, so so it's, it's really important to to tell a really good story so people kind of stop uh stop and then listen to your stories then that's how you being um create the self-confidence and then and then and then, and then once once you build in that trust, then you can help more people. So, but before you build in that trust, is uh, that people don't really eventually stop and listen to your words. 
And then lastly, uh, once, uh, lastly, what I get from the convention is that the, the presentation going extra mile. So basically, um, uh, uh, I think her name is Christ Christina. Uh, and Christina and John. So John living in Asia for, for a long time, and Christina is, uh, I think she lives in California. But in, in their both presentation, they really share like how you should greet him, and how should you invite, how should you follow up, and how should you ask for sales. Especially when you're greeting, uh, you have to use the F O R M S uh, uh, rule. So F stand for family, O stand for occupation, and then R stand for recreation, and S stand for sports. So when you when you kind of uh, share into a new prospect, and then and then it, uh, it, which, which is one of my uh, downsides because I I really suck uh, <laughs> uh, talk to new people, <laughs> so I, I just really shy to talk to new people. So I guess this the mm -hmm. F O R M S rule will really help. So you can just uh, first talk about like how the family, ask about the family, and ask about their occupation and recreation and their sports. I guess it's set a standard like what you should talk about. Cause I get not, I get nervous when when I met someone I didn't know what to talk to them about because <laughs> I didn't know them. And the, the second rule is eighty and twenty rules, which is eighty percent is listening, twenty percent is talking. <laughs> which is, I think that part is pretty good because I like listening more than talking. Uh, like like last time when when we did the uh, bond growth with uh, with uh, David, I remember one of his quotes say that um, people who are uh, how do I say? Like people who people who, who listen have stronger jaws. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> who, 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 people who listen have stronger uh, 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 teeth. They have stronger teeth. Yes, they, because <laughs> they they clench their teeth while they're listening. Yeah, <laughs> you don't always like what you hear, so you clench your teeth. But that's uh, uh, um, it was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Turn out that funny, but that's the AD and we, group. we mostly remember. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you're inviting, uh, one thing I really learned uh, from that presentation too oh. is uh, you want to invite with like a rush, like you don't want to go in so detail. You you want to act like uh, uh, inviting and act like you're a very busy um, businesswoman. That you don't have no time to waste on them, so people eventually uh, attractive to people who are busy, I guess. So I guess we had to invite with a rush. <laughs> don't invite, them, don't tell them too much information in the beginning. Yeah. And then the third thing is follow up. Uh, another quote is is uh, from from the presentation. It says that the fortune is in the follow up. So if you don't follow up then there's no fortune going to happen. And last thing is ask for the sale. So basically, this is the four things I really learned how to, you, uh, to get to ask a prospect to get to know more about you, Sana. So I will leave you all with that. So now, uh, what, what, what should we do? You have a privilege to <laughs> also can can watch the Mandarin part. The Mandarin part have a different speaker in workshop. Oh. All but, star mm. diamonds. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, everything. Dave, that our, John, that was uh, that. That's a really good point because we listened to the Chinese first and then to the English second. So um, that uh, you're you're absolutely right. It, and. You know, to be able to say, I think that the, the, the Chinese part was, was really well done. Wow, it's all star diamonds. And the top yeah. income earners, some, they, some of them, there's a top 25 income earners. Um, there is, a, yeah, they all great speakers. But they didn't translate in English, right? 
No. Yeah, they, no, they don't. Uh, they did not. Uh, no, they didn't. They they, they not. didn't translate into English. Uh, yeah, but if you understand English, you can listen to English part workshop. Mm -hmm. They are different speaker. They are not star diamonds, but what they teach is really work. Mm -hmm. And you then you can you can understand Mandarin. Well, maybe Michelle can translate to you, and Gui Yin can translate to you, right? <laughs> We all have a private translator at home. That's perfect, right? right and right. really, no problem. You can watch the Star Diamond Mandarin. You can choose Mandarin part. Was great speaker, full of information. Thirty minutes each speaker, and it's really wonderful. I, this I the, like the, the lady, what the who, Lydia, Lydia Wang, Lydia Wang. Lydia Wang, yes. Wow, she made a really good speech there. Uh, yeah, make a lot of fun, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Celia Wang well, used to work in the big company and is a work as a superwoman. Her, 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 her speech program is different from others, very different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make fun. It's a different life, different style leaders. Yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. Of different style. Approach different style. Two years, she she two years ago to went to uh diamond. Research. Yes, yes. Diamond. Yeah. When she joined Yusana, she just have uh, her second baby, right? No, I think first baby is uh, she pregnant like four months. Four months? Oh, first baby. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I remember. Yeah. She just have a little baby and start Yusana. Mm -hmm. Yes. She have a lot of information to share. And this is a beautiful part to have the convention on the computer because they they recording this and they mix mix it much more professional because when you're recording it, you can you can edit. Yes, that's different, right? <laughs> when you are living, it's different. So the workshop. They are all recorded, and the all the the information and the is much better. Mm -hmm. And you stay at home; it's easy to take notes, right? In the convention center, it's difficult. You have to sit on the chair, and it's really dark, and you, um, well, well, even I, even even with that, day, uh, John, you know, we go to the convention, and what do you watch? You're watching the video screens because you're so far up away from the people that it's uh, you need to in order to see what they're doing. You have to watch the video, the big screens. So it's you know, the only thing was different was the crowds, and um, you know, yeah. manipulating through the crowds and having that uh, uh, personal interaction. I, I remember uh, 2017 going and. Uh, I was watching people. Oh, this was yeah. my second convention. I was doing, I would, because I wanted to see how each person looked in regards. Because there, are, if if you are a product of the products, generally speaking, you're going to be at convention, right? Mm -hmm. If you're a product of the product, you're going to be at convention and looking at them. And and what I really noticed was that even the paraplegics in the wheelchairs. Getting around by pushing pencils on their on their on their screen, they were healthy. Mm -hmm. Nobody looked unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then uh, you, you were you were looking at the at, at the thing and you saying this is amazing stuff because you see thirty six thousand people, you know, all healthy, happy, and energetic all at the same time. And we were going from morning to night and late at night and everybody's just, you know, pumped up and uh, it was uh, it was quite the enjoyable experience. Uh, but that was... Uh, uh, Everybody cannot see the things night, like right? Yeah. We chat, mm. chat, chat, and then chat, late chat, night. Chat. And they get up yeah. early, have a lot of activities, events in the morning. Yeah. And another yeah. beauty is this year, you can review it seven days or 30 days and you can mm -hmm. really go to the details sometimes in the convention you just uh, you make the notes and everything pass the information sometimes you cannot really catch up it and then this year it makes very short 30 minutes 
but the information is really, you can really learn it. You can use it, make the goal, yeah. set the time, just to follow step by step, just like Mila said. So the invitation uh, follow up, we can really step by step get all the information and then we can really use it to improve us. So really you still have the chance to work with uh, Anna together to attend the convention because you still have a, you have a general pass, huh? seven days. This is the privilege of this year. This year you can sit on the sofa, have a cup of coffee, attend the convention. <laughs> <laughs> and we still can chat. Looks like tonight we still chat too much. <laughs> if we, That's we right. Don't stop. And you could also hit, you can always hit pause when you have to leave the room. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to miss anything. So. Um, uh, if anybody in Chinese, you have the WeChat, the WeChat campaign, right? There is a uh, a software called uh, Xinjie. Well, it's in China, this software can, I believe is a $10 or $20. You can use for whole life. Then you can record in the screen. Ah, that's good news. Thanks, John. That's, uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Xinjie, Xinjie. Xinjie? Okay. Xinjie. What, what, what? Xinjie. I, I use the QuickTime player and now I record for free. So you can just download that. Oh, QuickTime player. Yeah. So can record in the screen because David Peter just mentioned we can, uh, we can record it, the, the information to, for the future use. I believe the workshop is really helpful, especially for the newcomer in the future. They can just use 30 minutes, 25 minutes. Some of them is 20 minutes to understand how to start, right? It's really powerful because it's made by professional recording, professional leaders. Yeah, good. You see, you did it today, then you didn't miss it. If you didn't come here today, then you come here next week and your pass is passed. <laughs> you will miss the international convention. <laughs> but I can't hear you because you know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to say good. I'm going to give everybody a good morning uh, wave here, and uh, you all have a good evening. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see you next yeah. week. I'm going to yeah, good to idea. We have to say stop. Otherwise, after convention, we will chat whole night <laughs> till two a.m. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, what and, uh, our uh, next week topic. This week's why why supplement next week should be why you sauna right? Yeah, why you sauna supplement? Yeah, why you sauna supplement? Is yes, yes. Mila, do you want to do that? Do you want to do the why you sauna? Why it's why you sauna supplement? Yeah, I don't. Okay, why don't you do that next week? Here can share next week. I can do the host. I'll be the host next week. Yeah. Cool. If we still have some information to share, Anna, if you watch the convention, you still have some information to share, you still can share, right? You didn't see anything today. Did you? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Anna can talk this in Thursday's Mandarin meeting. We will still discuss convention. Yeah. All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.